Hi and welcome to the tutorial on drawing a profile line. So this is a very basic tutorial on how to draw profile lines. If you want a more complex edition, you can actually go to our website at jmars.mars.asu.edu and check out some tutorials there. So you'll notice in my layer manager that I've actually loaded a couple of different data sets. We have the test data set and we have the MOLA colorized elevation data set. I added these by myself, but you can just go to add a new layer and add it as well. You'll notice that my test layer is actually selected with my blue box. So if I go over to the right, it's going to be using that data set to draw my profile line. So you can click anywhere on the screen and you'll see a yellow line. And basically this helps you guide where you want your line to go. You can do two different ways. You can double click to end your profile line or you can actually click once and continue your profile line. So if I double click you'll see that it ends and it turns red and then I'm going to go over to my layer manager and I'm going to double click my layer so that I can see what my chart looks like. I'm going to go to the chart tab and on the chart you can see the values for these different points. As I move this line, this blue line, you can see on the right hand side that that yellow line moves. They help you correspond to where you're pointing. That way you can figure out the point on your chart and the point on your main view. You can change these colors a little bit in here if you want to. There's a couple different options you can do or you can just leave it as is. I'm going to close out of here. By doing a profile line with your test data, it allows you to do quantifiable data across qualitative data. If you want to do it with a different data set, you can, as long as it has numeric values. So we're going to turn off our test data, and we're going to select our MOLA map, and we're going to draw another profile line. So let's make this one fun. We'll go over all kinds of colors. You can go however long you want, as long as you double click at the end and turn your line red. So now we're going to double click our layer just like we did for tests, go into our chart, and now you can see the different elevations for these different points. This one's kind of crowded, so let's do another one. We'll make this one shorter and we'll go across the entire crater. And this helps show you the elevation across that profile line. So you can see as it goes up, the elevation goes up, as it goes down, the elevation goes down, and so on. Well, that's just a quick introduction on profile lines. Thanks for joining me.